Wow. I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed that. There's more of that, but, um, you know, didn't want to waste the whole video showing it to you. But Thank Jesus. Lastly, I want to give you guys a trade that's on my radar. I'm looking at Dollar Cat here, and I actually just got short a few uh, a few seconds ago. I shot this over to the trade floor for the syndicate members, and before I get into it, I, I want to do this. Okay, just to let you know, I don't even know what it cost to join the syndicate, but I did look up here to see what it join. It's cost to join this club here. Um this is what they're charging now it's uh to get started it's just uh 38 dollars for two weeks and i thought to myself well that's about um 56 dollars a month right no that's like that's uh what is that it's 72 dollars a month right i thought well that's certainly i can I'll get my brain around that but apparently after two weeks it automatically rebuilds for the for the low low price of wait for it um you're gonna get in here at uh five not six hundred a quarter five ninety seven okay and i was able to do the math on that just barely because i hate these non-round numbers and it comes out to about uh, twenty four hundred dollars a year all right my suggestion to anybody that's watching jason and this guy try to learn you how to trade is why don't you think about Taking a hundred dollars a month, right? Well, they're, well, they're going to seven take seventy six dollars a month and put it in a micro account, right? And just trade a one k at a time, and discover your own particular trading style and your own, um, you know, what fits you, right? You may not be a guy that can stand to be in the market or, or like they're they're bragging how they made uh, five hundred pips. Well, if you're in a 1K, you made 50 bucks, right? There's no, nothing to brag about, I suppose, money-wise, right? But, uh, wow, you know, this is some other guy, the structure trading, but this is this is coming from Trade Empowered, so maybe this guy's charging more, right? Because um, he's he's more better. Um, and let me go back to this video. Now, he's he can take you through this, uh, this trade here, which is kind of uh, bizarre. Um, then this is the CAD trade, right? Now he's on the one hour chart, or he's on the half hour and the one hour. Here he's on the, um, what is he on here? A 30 minute chart, I think. Now he put this out to the syndicate members. He's gonna go short this thing. All of a sudden he ignores market structure. For the first time, he's ignoring market structure. There is a top back here. There is a uh, major turnaround here. And, um, I, so I, I have the same uh, chart up in my platform, which is uh, I'm going to go to the one hour chart, and I'm going to I'm going to find the same trade he's in right here. There's of course you no know, nobody knows the future right, but let's face it right. This guy screwed this trade up big. Um, not to say you can't screw up a trade. Like I said, tight stops. You know you're going to win, but he got in. He went short here right because he said, well look at. Um, this is the previous blah 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 but he did not do what he says he does and that is look left now if you look left you'll see that there's a there's a big pivot here and if you look left 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 all the way back in the four hour you'll see that this is a double top this is the pivot this was the bottom this is a top this was where they turned around this is where you wanted to go long because this price pulse was over right this price pulse of equal distance this happens all the time in forex in fact i see one right here i can just pick them out all day long right but you need to be on the line you need to run a one period moving average to see this stuff to really see it right but that, that stuff happens all day long in forex you know um where we go up we pause here like say we go up here we pause and then it's just uh off to the races right so we go up and you pause you hang this off of your highest close within that and look at damn if you didn't nail that puppy right because now it's not hard to find these it's really not hard to find these and this guy went short here in the syndicate right maybe it was a scalp maybe it was a short-term trade but um wow talk about getting your clock cleaned and i think i've got um this these horizontal lines here represent a hundred pips right now let me go back to this guy uh taking you through this this bad trade Many of you guys that watch this are syndicate members. Just 
I'm going to say this in the nicest possible way. Realize that this isn't a signal service. I, I, I had a guy that sent me an email. I'm um, a very nice email. It wasn't a mean email or anything like that. Um, Not like very mine. nice email um, saying that, hey, Akil, you know, I took the pound yen or the, the dollar yen trade last night. Um, but because you didn't put where your stop loss was at or your targets, I wasn't really sure where to put mine at. And I got stopped out by 100 pips. And I responded to the trader saying, hey, you, you got to remember that the, the, the point of our syndicate program is to, to share ideas with you. We, we try very hard not to. That's the point of it. That's the point for you to share idea, ideas. Well, the point of my free program is to share ideas. While I torch you with my stirring of coffee. And uh, that's my point, right? To share ideas and actually to just uh, kind of uh, rattle the cages of all the conventional wisdom, supposed, con supposed wisdom, conventional as it may be. And uh, I am the iconoclast, I claim, right? I mean, really, that's what I was told when I first met a trader for it. In 10 minutes, he just said, oh, obviously. Because... I mean, no, you're not going to make no money. I mean, you're going to make money, right? He claims made 500 pips, right? But it's like, wow, You once you key into how you personally approach the market, that's when you're going to make money. That's when you're going to, of course, it's going to be very kind of lonely. And trading is a very lonely thing. You're going to you're gonna find that um, you don't, you're not going to agree with other traders. Um, you're probably not going to want to talk. You, probably, you I don't know. It depends, right? It depends how big your ego is. Apparently mine's too big because I just can't stand um, uh, when I see people do stuff that, well, they contradict themselves. This guy claims structure, and here he ignores the structure, right? Make it a signal service. We've done signal services in the past. We don't get the same educational benefit out of it. So, well, signal service is obviously complete garbage. If you're on a one-hour chart and I just tell you I just sold at the market, you, you can't get that trade anymore, right? The market's already moved. Unless your signal service is limit entry, but these guys don't trade on limits. They trade on stops, like retail traders, and they trade at the market, like impulsive traders. You know, especially on the structured trades where I actively manage them, I try not to give you my exact stop and exact target simply because I know that many of you out there, there's over what, 2,000 of you guys, many of you out there are going to blindly follow me. And you can see in this example, some of you blindly follow me no matter what. And Why not? If you know what you're doing, what's wrong with that stop? Of course, this already, I can see that he's trading single positions. Totally not a good idea. There's no diversification in price. There's no diversification in strategy. What if you had a backup plan to go short if you're wrong, right? What if you're wrong for God bed, right? That's a very quick way to go broke. Now, I'm not doing it to hide anything. I'm not, it's not a lack of transparency. For you guys that join me in the live room well, every day, you see me. That's what Obama says. We execute these trades live. You see how we break it down from um, the higher time frames to the lower time frames, how we measure ATR, how we use the 113s, how we develop stop losses, how we go through the, the process of deciding where we're going to put targets. So it's, it's not that. We do it every day um, in the live room. You really should be able to do this. You should be able to tell me to put a buy limit down here, and there should be no there should be no guesswork about it. It should be just painfully obvious that um, right here is the um, the key level right here. Save this price. Here we go. Can get, can get my tool to work. Come on, man. What happened to your structure rules? Look left. He did not look left, and he paid the price. All right. So let's see here. Alrighty then. So he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna look left. He's going to come and join me if you want to see. It's free um, for a week at least. For a week. Then they're going to start hitting you at X amount a month. Oof. Um, but it's, it's, it's mainly because, again, if, if I just put out signals, people, a handful of people will follow signals blindly. And when a handful of people follow singles, uh, signals blindly, they get into trouble and they never learn how to trade. They end up relying on me. And if I one day decide, hey, I don't feel like teaching anymore, I don't feel like running a training course or doing a live room or, or posting ideas in the syndicate, they're screwed. And I don't want to put you in that position. I, I've been in that position. Trust me. Um, Jason has been in that position where he's followed a signal service and the guy just got up and left. 
um, it's it's not good. It, it's it's I think it's it's a failure as a, a team. So why should we sign up for you? You could just be gone. What if you get in a car crash? Oh no, I can't. My whole trading career is gone. No, people have to trade from their own heart, their own mind. Come on. Be sure to do that to you. And some of you are going to disagree. I don't really care. Um, <laughs> just being honest with you. Um, but I did want to get. Dude, for the amount of money you're making on subscriptions, I don't blame you for not caring. That off my chest. Uh, but looking here at Dollar Canada, um, just looking at basic structure, we'll run through this really quick. We'll. Price action has come up here. We've double topped, right? Double top. We have broken and closed in below structure, giving us that bearish rotation. We then went back up to retest previous structure lows right here, putting in new structure lows right here. This should be screaming out bearish trend, bearish trend. One. This should be screaming out, but it's not. And you're on a 60 minute chart. <clears throat> this is what some people call noise. One, two, three. Again, bearish trend. One, two, three. That combination of lower lows, uh, yeah, lower lows, higher lows, right? Now. I'm sorry, he's on a four hour chart. I'm waiting for the same thing next. You can see we have our lower low, lower close right here. We've got an outside return that came right back into previous structure. Look. Yeah, so let me go to the four hour chart so I can sync up with this guy. Okay, I'm in the four hour chart here, and um, here's where he is, right? Um, he's right here in the story. He's right at uh, this point in the story. He's on the 18th of June, right? Um, so, yeah, he forgot to look left, right? Like, look over here, kids. <clears throat> What's going on over here? Wow, that's a major pivot. Look at how this pivot. Man, market turn on time there, right? That's a hundred pip grid, man. This is a hundred pips. So uh golly. Okay, here. Left structure leaves clues. And um well, I got short a few minutes ago. Now I got short on the hourly. It was it was an aggressive short. Oh. Typically when we're this far away from previous structure highs, I'll wait for a double top of something of that sort. But again, just reading the candlestick formation, this was what? This was our, our FOMC statement yesterday? 15? 15 o'clock? <laughs> this was our FOMC statement yesterday. I, I can tell because I watched it go up and then all the way down. Um, price action spiked all the way down, and then we started to kind of die off, see some profit taking right here at these lows before continuing the, continuing the rally down later in the day or later at night. Um, we've now come up to retest that previous structure level, and you can see on two attempts, the market, boom, hits that level. You can see a little bit of rejection. We try. That would have been a great place to put a sell on it, don't you think? One more time to break it, break above it, and we get rejected again. Um, this is screaming at me. Maybe not screaming at me, but this is telling me that um, there are some bearish uh, selling pressure. There are some bears at this level, protecting this level. We're seeing some selling pressure. Um, it's not a bad idea to get involved. So took a very aggressive trade. Stops are going to be above our spike highs here by uh, an ATR. We're looking at targets right back at structure low. So you can okay, so let's see what let's see how this trade worked out for this guy. Now this is he's on the uh, 60 minute chart. I'm going to go to the 60 minute here. And I got to hunt down this uh, entrance. Going back to the um, June uh, 18th entry, right? So he's getting in right here, and this is the uh, dollar CAD, right? So he got in uh, June eighteenth. That's me here. Here's June. So he got in here, right? He got in aggressive, and what he said was in the video, and. Um, my, my delete all objects isn't working but I'm not going to reboot here so look at how this thing just flirts on the one period moving average this is the magic of trading the one period moving average yeah, constantly so so he says well I'm gonna put my stop there right and he probably thought he was just a genius when the market came to here but look at his, his target was it was kind of like I, Obviously, the guy hasn't been trading too long 
because you could have drawn a trend line here. You really think that that market was going to sustain this velocity? After the FOMC or whatever the news came out here, obviously you wanted to be getting long here, right? He should have been long here, but he doesn't do those trades because he's a bear on this. He's a screaming bearish, right? I don't know what he's talking about, screaming bearish. Like, you go to the one-hour chart, you're like, what is he talking about, right? Um, so, <laughs> get all the way back to June here. So he's like, this guy, now, $2,400 a month, I'm sorry, just under $2,400 a month. I know they don't charge taxes on that, on that uh, ridiculous class. And let me zoom in one level. So this is going to change the whole breadth of the market, too. Just zoom in one level. At what point did he, does, did he, does he get stopped out here? Now, he supposedly got a stop. I think he said he put a stop here, right? Um, so he, he, he risked... He, he got in here and he lost like, I don't know, 75 pips or something. He sold there. He got aggressive, right? Which means maybe he went in big. Um, now, was he able to recover and realize that he could have placed a buy limit at this last known bottom that created the double bottom? He could have got long. He could have recovered everything. Um he could have still sold up into this uh, structure level here. There was a double bottom here. He could have had a penning here and could have wrote it down and recovered another 80 pips from th this entry here, which you just got to wonder why he didn't look left. Why, why, why didn't he look left on this one? What, he's too excited about it. He's so bearish, right? See, it's an outstanding risk reward. And the better the risk reward, the more aggressive I'm willing to be with my entry. So we'll see. Really? Huh. That's interesting. Wow, you really he's at one position, right? One position guy. He's he's a one trick pony. See, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. No single trade will make me or break me. Uh no single trade make you break you, but wow, that one is an ouchie. Cause you didn't look left, buddy. Um, as long as I have that stop loss on. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about it. But that's what I'm looking for. Now there's oh. also something bigger on the verge, and it's going to be you know, lost 50 pips. If we take our leg down here that we started with and go swing low to swing high, boom, we got our outside return right here. This is going to be our X to A. Um, I guess technically, is it here? Ah, okay, I didn't get this far in the video. I did pre screen that other pattern, but now he's broken out the Gartleys, and he said previously he lost on a Gartley trade. I'm like, I wonder why. Although. God, it looks cool. It totally looks cool. The same. Whichever one is the highest, is, it's technically the A, but it doesn't matter. X to A, A to B right here. we got a B to C retracement, and then we're looking at a D completion down at um, our 886. Let me just well, that's so never happened. I mean, not only is his first target here, but he's actually going to project with this Gartley garbage. I mean, Gartley, 1920, right? I looked at the Gartley thing. 1920 goes back. And now that we've got platforms that we can do colored triangles, I'll give you this. It looks sweet. You can change the color of that from powder blue to to red to whatever you want to change it to, right? It's not going to make you no money. Um, you know, oh, sure, you know, a dartboard, right? In a bull market, a dartboard works good. Just put your stocks in the wall and whip out your darts and just hammer away because, you know, a rising... Tide lifts all ships, you know, that kind of uh, trading, right? Let's remove, uh, remove the wrong thing. Let me just remove some of this, and I'll show you guys how this is a pretty darn good uh, level. So. so now he's going to prove how good this level is, and he's going to bolster an argument that's just totally has nothing. I mean, really, come on, man. Really? I'm used to the crosshairs. It makes it a lot easier, but let's do this. All right. So we've got X to A. A to B, B to C, C to D, right down here at one. Isn't this an example of overanalyzing the market, or is it just me? Nineteen ninety one. Also, for you guys that are into harmonics, if you want to take a harmonic move, swing high to swing low, boom, copy and paste that A B C D pattern completion. Ho ho ho! Look at that, right down at that eight eighty six. If you want to take our Fibonacci. Uh, yeah, this is the harmonics I'm into, buddy. That's my harmonics. Extension, excuse me. Swing high, the swing low, that A leg to that B leg, and back up, 
Are we going to get anything? We got a 1618 a little bit lower, so eh, not too much. Um, but we've got a harmonic move, we've got a bat pattern completion, and then of course we've got a pretty good level of strength. Now, how hard is it going to be here for him to change his opinion now that he's built this whole drama, this whole story? How hard is it going to be for him to go bullish on this? It'll be very difficult for him to go bullish now that he's married to this idea here. Structure looking left down here to serve as some protection. So, um, dollar cad, that's what's on my radar. Probably for next week. I'm, I'm not sure if we'll see it um, tomorrow. Uh, Honey, you never saw it. Look at this. Look at this thing take off. Now, this is where he's at on the chart. I'm not making this stuff up. And I'm not a hater, damn it. I'm a realist. Come on. Why waste your money? Look at, look at this thing. This From where he got in, it went up 100, 200, 300, 400. 400 pips and still climbing people this is where we're at right now um yeah you probably want to put a buy limit down here maybe at this double top on the uh one hour go to the four hour holy mackerel this this the bears are probably selling that right now and their target's going to be this um this little baby almost top became a bottom here on the four hour uh, of course, when these top bottoms happen in a velocity like that, it's pretty, uh, wow. You know, that was, woof. And that was because, like, you know, come on, everybody's like, yikes. The shorts just had a cover. And they clipped, these, they clipped out these guys here. You know, don't forget the bears got their, the retail traders got their stops above these wicks up here on a four hour, right? drama in this room here um i guess i got too many uh keyboards in it's too tight a spot um but yeah look at this here right like look at that it just it, psh, really wow isn't that fascinating look at look where the market actually closed at it's sitting right at structure it actually market tends to do that it tends to close right at structure okay let me let me uh risk watching the end of this Dollar can doesn't it doesn't move that much unless we have some massive news event come out. Oh no, no, no moves saying. against you pretty uh, good though. Only four, five hundred pip loss, right? For next week, looking at this bat pattern completion right at previous structures. So, thank you guys once again for joining me. As always, uh, do me a favor, guys, hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. Um, hit the like button if you found this video valuable. It's kind of how I gauge whether this thing is good or not. Wow. Okay. Well. I'm going to have to post this comment to him. Um, this is my comment. I can't share this. Well, I'll be sharing this, actually, for people to just steer him clear of, like, why deny the unique person you are and your unique approach to the market? And you might be a guy that trades, um, I mean, the, the term price action, a lot of this stuff, where did this come from? I mean, when I was growing up, I never heard this stuff, price action, Gartley's. I mean, I heard about Dow theory, right? We all heard Dow theory when we were growing up. But holy mackerel, like, um, man alive. I mean, can't we just trade within, I mean, the five-minute traders, right? All those rules still apply to the five-minute guy, right? So if you went to the five-minute chart on here, um, it's no different, right? You have the, uh, here is your entry. There is a triple thing. You've got your sell limit there. Boomity boom, and uh, let me see if I can get to the current uh, five minute on here. Yeah, just don't have the patience for that. Okay, that was chart shift. This is uh, auto scroll. Okay, let me let me just go to the current story here. This is the half hour dollar CAD, and for the for the bulls on the half hour, right? He's he's on the half hour. You're going to be buying. Um, you know, you, you, you bought this thing here, right? You scalped it for that, whatever. But the idea that this guy, with his, his Gartley's and his newsletter and all that stuff, you're, just, you're, just, you're better off losing, you're better off taking your $38 every two weeks and losing in the market and just learning your own, your own threshold for pain and your, because even, even if you did go long here on the four hour, right? If you went long here, where he went short here, and this is his this is his structure uh, 
entry here, which is just wow. I'm sorry. Here's his entry right here. He went. He went short here. He went short here. Now, I don't have the patience to sit in this trade for two weeks to make 500 pips, but I would have the foresight to buy this top that became a bottom. There was a chance to get on the long train after you admitted you were wrong. You could have bought here at this pivot. And this pivot is definitely a good one. It's right near the round number. And uh, that was your that was your your uh, roll reversal point. And look how here when the sellers came in here, yeah, you could have been you could have been bearish there, but you have to realize that's a counter trend trade. The trend is up. I don't know why this guy is trying to fight the trend on this one, but the other one he was totally um, and don't forget, some people, if you notice, all their trades are shorts, and some people, all their trades are long. And it really, I think that's also a personality situation. But how could this guy miss um, this this trend line itching to be broken? And uh, right in here, right? They talk about structure. That's all these guys talk about is structure. But I don't think they even know how to read the structure, because the structure is really not on these wicks. You like to think it is, right? In in the Fibonacci tool, if you're going to use it, for God's sakes, put it on these damn closes, right? Because if you put a close to close, uh, at least. But see, I I I just can't. I can't. I can't vouch for Fibonacci. It's too complicated. And what do I do with those price levels? And I'd say the 50% looks good. Like from this hot high to that low, and the, and the, and the idea that the swing. People say that swing thing. They're just not. They're just not talking about the swing thing, right? I mean, in other words, uh, this 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 is the fifty. This is the fifty level right here, right? And this is the this is the hundred. This is this, right? This is half, right? And that's when it when that's when it went up, right? Obviously, right? Um, I just don't have my delete thing. Anyways, that's that's what I'm thinking. I mean, just why why would you spend all that money with these guys that are trying to teach people how to trade, and then they're saying, oh, well, you know, we may not be here. Um, well, yeah. I mean, what are they gonna do when you're when you're just um, in a bad trade because you joined the syndicate? Not God knows how much that cost. My God, you're already down two grand a year on this stuff. Surely you can save your money and just keep trading a micro or nano account and keep losing till you discover that key pattern or that key strategy or that key gut feeling or whatever it is you're going to be much better off because you're going to build your own life your own i mean i know a lot of people want reference like they, if you see somebody wearing uh like all of a sudden if like if you're a girl all of a sudden you know it's in to have uh fake breasts and big eyelashes and uh wear little black dresses right you'll see every girl doing that like if you go to there's a there's a neighborhood here where rich people live and every girl in the starbucks i, I don't think they let you in unless you got black yoga pants on right and it seems like everybody wants to belong you know and that's that's the flaw that's the problem with trading is you want to belong you want to see things the way people you're like oh yeah well you know i'm i'm in the club right i'm in the syndicate not a good thing not a good thing of course this is totally against these guys making a living at two grand a year and then like claiming that oh i got all these great trades like, yeah but you're not even following your own rules i mean the other video that i criticized the guy says that's a bad trade. Well, how is this a good trade when you you're telling me it's screaming bearish on what time frame? And obviously it wasn't screaming bearish. You were in an uptrend. Every moving average from the daily to the four hours said it's bullish. But here's this guy. He's gonna counter trend trade it. He's gonna get an aggressive on the one hour. And then he's like, I, I don't know. Anyway, that's that's my two cents.